Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. Um, and we got some more news coming in. I was actually kind of surprised. I was expecting the uh, tweet reveal for the new Dokkan Fest uh, and future Android 17 and 18. I was expecting that to come last night. Um, I guess about 6 hours ago at like 3am my time. Um, but they did not tweet it out. I mean, this... This is what they did last year, too. Like, typically around this time, like, I mean, a lot of holidays, like Thanksgiving, Black Friday, like, this sort of, like, period, they always do sort of operate just a little bit differently than usual. So, I guess it's not really too surprising that, like, you know, I guess the Dokkan Fest teaser was sort of a day earlier than usual, right? Um, so, we probably will be seeing the androids tweeted out tonight. So, again, probably about 3 a.m. my time. So, what, like, 12, 15, like, 17 hours or something like that from now something like that uh, uh 18 hours from now um we're gonna see the dokkan fest androids revealed and whatever the banner unit is gonna be um I, I don't mind that the androids um are the dokkan fest that's coming up i think it's fine um you know they, they are a character that needs more representation again videl gets a dokkan fest that opens up the floodgates that literally like Nappa, I think, deserves one. Raditz, the future androids, right? Like, we could go down the list now. So many characters, I think. Um, I would have no issue um, with them actually getting Dokkan Fest. Um, the other thing, too, is, I mean, we could see the, you know, sort of teasers we have for new events here. Um, we have one for the story event is going to be updated. The uh, Dragon Ball Super Future Trunk story event right here. Um, I remember when this one first came out. Yeah, this this was a while ago. Um, they haven't really touched this at all since it came out, right? So at the bare minimum, um, I believe we are getting a support memory added to it. So let's go ahead and read what we got right here. Uh, oh, that's too bad road one. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what we got right here. So uh, due to the addition of a support memory, um, a new support memory is going to appear um, in the Dragon Ball Super Future Trunks story event. Um, new support memory, Trunks and Mai's Reunion. Okay. Um, okay, so this is on the 29th. Let's see, it said Stage 5. So, that's this one. Rematch with Goku Black. Okay. Oh, so cool. That, yeah, th this is when he first shows off that he can go Super Saiyan Rose. Okay, so we're going to have a new support memory to grind up. I always do really enjoy um, support memories, right? Getting sort of like these new animations in the game and stuff like that. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of support memories. I, I think between, like, you know, the five-year anniversary, the major thing they introduced into the game was equipment. And then the six-year anniversary where the major thing they introduced was uh, support memories. I like support memories a lot more, right? It's a, a nice way to get a lot of different uh, animations and stuff like that in the game. So uh, I, I consider myself a big fan of support memories. Now, the thing about this too, right, is that this event is being updated right here. I was thinking that this event was going to be more so um, geared around, uh, like, future Gohan and the androids. Not necessarily, like, this future. But, it, uh, dude, if, if this story event is getting an update, I mean, <laughs> you guys know what that could mean, right? Is these bad boys. I think the, like, the floodgates have opened that it's conceivable now, that LR, Goku, Black, and Zamasu, they could easy A with this celebration. Now, I'm actually very nervous for this one. Unlike, you know, Majin Vegeta, Broly, Gohan, Trunks, I feel like none of them, like, it wasn't essential that they were, like, godly, right? Especially, like, LR Broly. Like, we literally got a Dokkan Fest of the same name, right? Majin Vegeta, I, I think, what was kind of important, because he's on so many teams and stuff like that. We'll definitely get another, like, new standalone Majin Vegeta, though. That's not really an issue. This unit, though, this is not, like, I, I need them to make this the best easy in the game. Like, I'm not playing around. Um, this is also, th this is the day I started playing JP Dokkan right here. Um, I started playing for this unit right here. So, you know, this is, like, the very first unit in my box. Like, if we go to my box, which actually, I, sure, dude, why don't, why, <laughs> why don't I do that? Let, let, let's go into my box. Because I just, uh, I'm link leveling while recording this video, of course. You know, you guys know how it goes. But I just finished a stage. So, if we go ahead and go over to here. Okay, come on, hurry up. Hurry up. Okay, perfect. 
Um, so if we do this, and then let's go by acquired, and we go all the way to the bottom, LR Goku Black and Monster again, first unit in my box, right? So I am more than excited to see this unit potentially get an easy A. It is really important for these small category teams that like do Patara, Realm of Gods, Time Traveler, like it's it's kind of important that these guys, I think, um, I think it's very important that they get an easy A, right? Um, so with an easy A, um, I don't know what exactly. I, I think you know what I would like. Um, what if they got damage reduction against multiple enemies? I think that's good. And then what if, what if this is bumped to like. Oh man, what what if they did 50% attack and defense for six turns? Or they just stacked or something like that. But I think damage reduction against multiple enemies is, is a good start. That will make this unit have like real value, I think, um, for Super Battle Road stages. They have a great link set. Um, this unit, the thing about them is they can look pretty impressive even now. I, I think what they really need is just a lot of a defense. I, I honestly... Well, I, I would like them to be... Because they can put up good numbers too, but it's like LR Int Gohan can put up good numbers too. But does he put up numbers that we deem good enough? Probably not. I just... Again, I just want them to go all the way with this unit. I need them to make this unit ridiculously busted. I think damage reduction against multiple enemies is a start. Um, with this fully built up and shit like, you know, prepared for battle, nightmare, big bad bosses, fierce battle, legendary power, all these major links active, um, they are capable of doing ridiculous damage. The one thing, I feel like Dokkan themselves almost doesn't realize this, so is that with these LR EZAs, they don't get a stats increase. They only go from SA20 to SA25. And it's like Dokkan, I feel like they don't do enough to account for that. Like, I don't like how fearful they are um, of actually making these units really good. I I, I don't. I, I don't like that at all. Um, I, I think there's no reason for them, especially with how limited some of these teams are, they need to make this unit ridiculously busted. So hopefully. Um, and then keep in mind, besides LR Goku, Black, and Zamasu, who now I think are much more realistic than before, I think Physical Future, Gohan, and then I think the AGL... LR androids who aren't on future, right? It's stupid. It's so dumb because they're very clearly um, the androids from the future, right? It's like so clear. Maybe they could add them to the future category during this celebration. That would be cool. Um, but the androids right here, right? I think that they could easy a, I think future Gohan or now again, Goku black and Zamasu, I think is really possible. So I think, uh, one of these, actually, let me pull them back up so I could just, I think one of these three LR or one of these three major units, um, is probably going to easy a with this celebration. So let me know which one of these three you guys would like to see the most. Um, I think the one that will probably actually be the most impactful on the game is probably future Gohan. Uh, but Goku Black and Zamasu could be crazy. Because Future Gohan, this. Uh, future Gohan would be the go-to future category leader, which I, I think is actually, um, it needs. Uh, future really, really could use sort of a better, newer um, category lead than what we're rocking right now. So I would like to see that. Okay, so we have that. Um, this story event coming again, and we also know that, uh, we are getting the, whatchamacallit coming as well, um, the Dokkan Fest androids. Then we also have this, so a new stage is coming to Super Battle Road. So this is one of these things where they're just, like, slowly adding one stage, like, per celebration. Let me know if you guys like this change, um, that it's, like, every celebration now, they're just adding one stage, um, to Super Battle Road. I think it's fine, I think it's a good way. Um, to constantly have at least some stuff to do, right? At least there's going to be, like, some content actually coming in, um, with them, you know, adding Super Battle Road stages per sort of, like, celebration. Um, this is the Joined Forces category is going to be getting one. Oh, wow, dude. Okay. So, it's probably going to be future Android 17 and 18, and it's probably not going to be an exchange unit then, huh? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, okay, okay, okay. Um, let's form a proud team and overcome the looming challenges. Now, every stage that pops up... Damn it, I'm in a link level stage. I, I would like to go in game and show this. Maybe I'll, I'll just stall for a little bit to get there. But, um, every stage that we beat, 
gives us one fragment for this support memory, Goku's marriage right here. This is a ridiculous support memory. Goku family category allies 10% attack and defense in battle. Permanent. It's a permanent buff. The ridiculous support memory. Um, but in order to get this, again, each new Super Battle Road stage that comes out is going to give us one fragment towards this. So we need to be all 10 new Super Battle Road stages that are going to be coming out um, throughout the course of the next, I guess, several celebrations or what. The only thing is, dude, like if they're going to do this per celebration, we're not going to get this support memory until like June of next year or some shit like that. All right. Like it, one fragment per, per celebration is going to take a long ass time. So we'll see if they're actually going to step it up uh, at all. Um, all right. So let's pull up joined forces. Huh? When did joined forces come out? LR Yamchen Poir for world tournament. That was, yeah, just before uh, four year anniversary. Okay, so joined forces. I assume there's not going to be pure Saiyan um, and Universal Survival Saga enemies in there. Um, typically, I've noticed that they do like with you with stages that have Kale and Khalifa, they do try and like gear away from making them too strong. Um, Krillin and Gohan are going to. Oh my God, we could. Oh yeah, dude, Joint Forces is so powerful now. Like we could rock the Vegito and Gogeta rotation. Oh. Like, if you just go uber tank mode and then just stall until you could fuse, it's, it's over, right? Like, because the thing about it is, remember, I, I like Vegito better than Gogeta. The main reason I always say, I mean, yes, um, Gogeta or Vegito out damages Gogeta by 500 times, right? But the main reason I like Vegito better is his transformation condition. But on teams where you can run them together, Almost doesn't matter. There is a, a scenario where your health is so low that you could fuse a Vegito and still not be able to fuse into Gogeta. But most of the time, you you could fuse a Vegito and then fuse with Gogeta, and then you're perfectly set up, right? Gogeta slot one, Vegito, you know, slot two, or wherever you want to put them, and, you know, the, the stage is going to be dead. Let me see who else. 17 and Golden Freeze, I mean, they potentially could be good. Trunks and Goten. I mean, Dokkan Vest, Kale, and Khalifa, they're not really a Super Battle Road unit. LR, Goku, and Piccolo are not really a Super Battle Road unit. I, man, their design irks me so much. Um, I, oh my god. Oh, god, Goku and him. Oh, no, dude. Could you run, uh, just a, you could probably just straight up run Universal Survival Saga slash Accelerated Battle, actually, now that I think about it. So you could just run a double god, Goku, and hit team. You'd have 17 and Golden Frieza. Um, you could do Kale and Khalifa, Goku and Frieza. Yeah, uh, you could do um, Goku and Vegeta. Yeah, you, you could do that. You could just run double LR God Goku and hit. This is one of the most underrated units in the game, by the way. People don't really understand how good this unit is, I feel like. They actually dominate the entire game. They're one of the like top three Super Battle Road units in the game or something like that. Well, I mean, yeah, I think I would say that. Because it's like... There's, like, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta who, like, doesn't take damage um, and stuff like that. But, like, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta doesn't really do damage himself, right? The thing about God, Goku, and Hit is just, like, you know, unless they get super attacked, they're not really taking damage. Um, they stun, and they're doing a bajillion damage. And they auto-super, basically. They, yeah, they, they auto-super, so um, they're really good. I'm just looking at what else. Grey Saiyan 1 and 2 is a good option for this after they EZA for sure. Um... Go tanks and ghosts will be good. I mean, Frieza and Dead Army, you could use him for the the stun he has. That certainly can be good. All right, I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna stall for two seconds, and I just want to show that right now they've added one new Super Auto Road stage, which is the Planet Namek Saga. And after beating it, I got the um, one fragment for the Goku's Marriage Super Armor. I just want to show that, and then we'll end. Go Asu and Zamasu could be good here. <gasps> Oh, you could rock this. You could do this. This is like a crazy free-to-play option rotation right here. These two together. Um, I actually still have to do the level 10 link video on this unit. I have recorded the one for this guy, them, but I just haven't uploaded it yet. Um, I actually, what's funny is I have surgery tomorrow on my knee. <laughs> so I I might, I don't know if I'm going to miss data downloads and stuff like that tomorrow. We, we will see. Um, but I might upload some of the older videos I have stockpiled uh, considering... That I might be unavailable to record just for like a day or so. We'll see. 
All right, so there we go. There's Join Forces. I, I expect that the stage shouldn't be too tough. And I also think that the no item run is probably not going to really be that bad. But with, like, Hit and God Goku on the team, it, it shouldn't really be that bad. Um, they're just so crazy. So if we go here and then we go to the support memory part, you could see that we have only one of ten fragments. That's from the Planet Namek Saga stage, right? So each stage that comes out, we're going to get one more fragment. So let me know what you guys think of this upcoming celebration. Uh, future Android 17 and 18, new Super Battle Road stage, new support memory, potential for LR Goku Black and Zamasu EZA, Physical Future Gohan EZA, or uh, LR Android EZA. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.